Hey YouTube, it's Arcade Machine 15 here. Um, sorry for the bad quality. I'm using the iPhone 5S right now, but I just really have to get this out there. Um, I upgraded my computer from Windows 7 to Windows 10 because I had the free upgrade that kept showing up at the bottom there, uh, notifying the shit out of me to upgrade. So I thought, might as well register, try it out because they give you an option to go back. So here's what, I, here's what I'm in here. I've had it for about two weeks and I'm very disappointed with it. There's been a lot of people saying it's faster and stuff. When I first got it, it was slow as hell, laggy, but it eventually got better. Um, okay, well, and then I, I, the first reaction, I um, wanted to go back to 7 because I hated it. But the thing is, though, look at this. When I go into settings here, and it's taken some pretty long time to get into those settings as you can see I'm keep clicking on it and it's not opening my fucking settings look at this it's locked up fantastic it's actually never done this before I was able to get in there and actually try oh look at this look at this this is what I would find on a 2009 MacBook which I coincidentally have over there because I'm using it instead of this piece of garbage now and this this was a perfect computer on Windows 7 it uh, has 8 gigs of RAM you know um, I forget what the processor is it's AMD something though um, you know and it's uh, at 3.5 gigahertz so this was a really fast Windows 7 but now it's just complete shit okay so this stupid boot up uh, timer that's there um, there we go, it finally opens. Fantastic, right? Oh look, I can't even drag, there we go, I couldn't drag this down before. Now let's go to updates and security where you can usually, oh look, it's not even doing that, where you can usually go back to Windows 7. So let's go to backup, or I mean recovery, I guess. And there you go, it says, go back to Windows 7. Now let's click get started. We're sorry, but you can't go back. The files you need to take you back to a previous version of Windows were removed from this PC, which is really funny, actually, because I did nothing on it except web browse uh, since it was upgraded. So that's fantastic. And I even looked, and in my computer, I have the... I'm not going to go into it because it's going to take too long, but I have the file. It's like codenamed Panther or something, and it's blue. Um because it's been uh, compressed and that's what has all the Windows 7 um, components on it if I were to go back to Windows 7 and they're all still there so it's complete bullshit okay now but that's not that's not even close to the main problem that I'm having I use push and I'll pull up a push image that I took uh, not that long ago because this is the main reason why I'm so angry now, surprisingly, well, since it's later in the night, this prog this this problem's not happening. If you can even see that, it is actually 10:56, so just under 11 p.m. And um, what usually happens, like if I were on it, like uh, at 4 p.m. or something, is I don't know what it is. There's this remote virus or something that keeps on trying to send ads out of my computer. And look at this, I, I literally cannot do anything on this. It's not even open, opening push. This is ridiculous. So let's see if I can get it open like from here. Because I, I got a push of the, the photo. Nope. Okay, let's see uh, if I can find that. I need to quickly not show you my pictures here. Because they have personal content. But it's just you can see it's taking forever to load this. Look at that. Um, okay, give me a sec here. Okay, I found an image. So here's an image of what would happen. So I could be on it for at the most, I want to say 30 minutes. And then this ad pops up saying, how would you like to open this? Um, whatever. And it's all internet browsers, as you can see. And when you open it, it has this My PC cleanup thing. Um, it's like the most common false virus cleaning program you see on people's computers that don't know how to get rid of viruses it's like my pc backup tool or whatever the frigate you know whatever it's called and you know you could say okay and close there the tab that it automatically opens for the ad 
and another 30 minutes later this box will open up again and you click on OK and it will open up another browser you know the my PC backup ad will open up again and you know it's a constant thing that keeps happening there's no way around it and you know it's super annoying it ha like later hours you see right now it's you know 11 p.m. and it's not happening it only happens in earlier hours of the day so I'm it's a remote server so that's somehow sending out these ads but you know even on the way that Windows 10 does things like how come this never happened at 7 you know even if this this remote server was on um, Windows 7 which it wasn't it would be sending out ads but they would they would be opening up in the, the tab automatically you know and um, that was never happening never had those problems with Windows 7 and this actually makes it even worse for having ads on your computer because it's gonna have this box opening up every time blocking whatever you're doing instead of actually having a tab opening up so this is actually worse but not even getting started yet if I close this and Windows does a, this fucking weird way of getting into safe mode you gotta actually push the power there and then you hold shift you can't see it as you click on it which is hard to do as it is with the, the phone here but and then you're supposed to hold the shift still while it opens up the options here now this is oh look at this it's trying to close some programs fantastic fan freaking tastic now I don't even know it's gonna work because it had these errors as I was restarting it so I'm, I've been holding it the whole time but now it's probably not even gonna do it it's probably gonna just restart manually now like the piece of shit it is I'm waiting and this is not a slow computer like I said on Windows 7 this is blazing fast 8 gigs of RAM I think it has like an AMD something a7 you know, it, it had like, the only thing that was holding it down was the hard drive. I know people dislike the Windows Experience Index, but it, it had, um, everything was in the 7s except for the hard drive, which was a 5.9, because it's not an SSD. This is not a low-end budget computer. This is, you know, a gaming computer, and it would play GTA 4 fine. You know, it's really, really a good computer. Uh, it's just with Windows 10, you know, it's a piece of shit. Oh, it actually did. So this is their stupid way of going into safe mode now. You can go and click troubleshoot, advanced options, startup settings, and restart. And when you restart, it supposedly puts it into the safe mode, but you know, you gotta press another key on the keyboard to actually do it. So now let's go to enable safe mode with networking, which is the fifth key. This is freaking shit. And on top of all this, there were settings that I didn't show that um, actually monitor your activity on Windows because this is, uh, there's always a catch to things being free. And actually, with Windows 10, they do monitor your activities unless you turn off all the switches in the settings. So now let's just put my password in. Okay, we're in. And now, apparently there were some programs I could use to actually fix the issue, which I found off of very reliable websites. So what I actually did is you're supposed to go into safe mode for them to actually work. So I did that, and I went into my downloads folder. This one's apparently really effective right here. So I um, let's show it in the folder. And... Let's open it up. It's right as administrator. Okay, let it do its thing for a little while. Let's do a, a full scan here. And now you just wait. It will happen. It looks like it's doing its job. And then you get this. Your PC's ran into a problem and needs to restart. 
we're collecting some error info and then we'll restart for you. It's 0% complete and then it has some of the information down here, attempted to write or something, read only memory. It's, and then it restarts back into, which is even more stupid, the normal mode of Windows, not safe mode. So if you wanted to go back into safe mode and try something else, you would have to go through all those steps that I did before in order to go back into safe mode. It's complete and utter trash. So at this point, I'm probably just going to get an external hard drive and back up all my games and files and stuff because I got really important games and saves and stuff on there. You know, it's a two terabyte hard drive in there. And then when I back that up, I'm going back to 7 and screw you Windows 10. So thanks for watching the video and do not upgrade to this piece of shit. Even if you don't have any problems, it'll still be monitoring your activities unless you turn off those switches. And even then, who knows, because it's free, you know, there's always a catch, you know, but this is just god awful, you know, you thought Windows 8 was bad, but this is, this just takes the cake. You know, they tried to make it better by making it more, look more like Windows 7, because Windows 7 was the last good operating system, but even then, this is complete garbage. You know, on Windows 7, if I were to have ads, at least it would open up a browser and not open up a stupid message every time, you know, and the fact that it just crashes when I try to uh, clean the um, the computer to figure out what's doing it, it's just kind of odd. Uh, it was even more odd actually is the fact that I had no problems at all with Windows 7. So, and I did regular virus scans on it as well. So last warning, do not upgrade to Windows 10. It is definitely not worth it and it will screw up your computer. Thanks and bye.